Hi, welcome back to Historical Terminology. Today we're going to talk about the Holy Roman Empire, uh, which I describe as a collection of territories and a fancy title. Um, so what is the Holy Roman Empire? Uh, basically, uh, the Holy Roman Empire was unofficially created in 800 AD when Pope Leo III crowned Charlemagne the Emperor of Rome. Now, was he actually the Emperor of Rome? No, he was not. Um, but he was he was claimed uh, the Emperor uh, because he had amassed quite a territory. Um, and so he was the first Emperor, in quotation marks, since the fall of the Roman Empire in the West. The term Holy Roman Empire wasn't actually used until the 13th century. Um, and the Emperor over time became kind of an elected position amongst a collection of German princes. So basically, it was kind of like a semi-democratic monarchy. It was kind of, it's kind of a weird government structure, but um, that's kind of the basics of it. Um, the borders of the Holy Roman Empire have changed over time, and here's this sweet gif that shows you how it worked. Um, the Holy Roman Empire did, of course, actually end at a certain point. Um, I believe this one says 17, 1806. There you go. Around 1806 is when the when the Holy Roman Empire did fall apart. Um, it was I think they was dissolved by the emperor himself. So it was it was not like a destruction. It was more of a casual um, ripping apart by themselves. Um, the empire structure um, it was never really unified like France or the Netherlands. Um, so they never really had that kind of national. Um, combined cultural hegemony. Um, and the emperor, like I said, was elected by the leaders of the various territories that made up the empire. So basically, all these different kingdoms and principalities and duchies and counties and prince bishoprics and imperial cities and other domains under the Holy Roman Empire, they each got an elector, and that elector then chose amongst themselves the who would be the, the emperor, um, so who would run kind of this like overarching um, group. Some notable empires or emperors of the Holy Roman Empire. The first one was Charlemagne, like I mentioned earlier, and he united the majority of Western and Central Europe for the first time um, since the Romans. Um, and so that's why he was crowned emperor of the Romans on Christmas Day in 800 by the Pope. Okay. Um, Otto I, um, he helped unify various German kingdoms, and in 19, 955, he was able to defeat the Magyars and repel the Hungarian invasion of Europe. Um, and so in, 19, in 961, when he conquered Italy, um, the Holy Roman Emperor, uh, he was crowned the Holy Roman Empire by the Pope, um, since he had unified all these lands, um, and he controlled Rome, so he kind of made the Pope do it. Frederick I made great contributions to Central European culture. He reestablished the Roman rule of law, which counterbalanced the papal power in the German states um, because uh, papal law had really been running that, that area for a while. Uh, and he ended up dying during the Third Crusade. So he was in Jerusalem when he passed away. And then finally, um, another notable emperor is Joseph II. Um, he was an enlightened monarch, um, kind of like Catherine the Great and Frederick the Great of Prussia. Um, and he reformed the empire's institutions and norms. He supported artists like Mozart, um, and he was Mary Antoinette's brother, so he um, he was related um, to Mary Antoinette, who ended up um, getting beheaded in the French Revolution. Uh, the end of the empire, well, um, the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved by Francis II after Napoleon Bonaparte conquered large portions of it. So basically, Napoleon, during the Napoleonic Wars, conquered large parts of the empire, and he was basically like, okay, dude, you need to, you need to end this, we're not going to do this king thing anymore, or emperor thing. I'm the only emperor now, so bye. Um, and so Napoleon created what was called the Confederation of the Rhine, which was basically a French-controlled German state um, in the remnants of the Holy Roman Empire, and that's what um, succeeded it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something about the Holy Roman Empire. Um, looking forward to the next one. See you later.